So next we'll take a look at additional color looks and effects you get with double exposure generator. And these all are right inside the project files so you don't have to install anything. And you can find these all on project panel here in folder number 10 color and effects. And all these are drag and drop uh, uh, method. Uh, the way you use them is just dragging and dropping, dropping into the timeline. So let's take a look at the first one, color looks. And um, I will use this inside this uh, final scene three. And because uh, you may want to uh, use different, uh, uh, different color looks with different settings, in one project and always make a duplicate first. So uh, I'll make a duplicate of this and then drag this duplicate into the timeline. And nothing happens and that's why we also need to turn on this Collapse Transformations button here, like this. And now you can see the effect taking place. So um, two steps, just drag and drop inside the scene and then turn on this Collapse Transformations button for the layer. So now we can go inside this uh, color looks and uh, take a look at the settings. And I will close this view here and open another comp viewer. And now when we go inside there, you can see there's this photo. And this photo is only a guide layer for you. So if you are inside this composition, you can see how the settings uh, affect so controls layer is uh, the first one, we select this and then you can see there are four color looks uh, which you can use separately like it's right now. Only one is active but you can also mix these up and I will start dragging up this effect opacity to 100. And you can see it updating already in final scene. And I will also use two more for this, this one too, maybe like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this. So this is really easy way to give a professional look or color graded look to your mm, simple looking or not color grading footage or just to add an interesting, an interesting look and uh, then we can go back to scene 3 and let's take a look at the next one, Duotone uh, so this is what the name uh, says and we'll again make a duplicate first and then I can add this by drag and drop here and nothing happens and again I have to turn on this Collapse Transformations button here for the layer. Okay, and I'll show you how the stacking order affects the final look. So if I drag this below color looks, this is uh, a different, a uh, bit lame perhaps, but uh, different. So uh, you can try different uh, combinations stacking these on top of each other, a duotone plus effects or plus color looks and so on. And let's uh, take a look at the settings of this also. So we'll go inside here. Again, you have this guide imagery. And the settings are on the controls layer, on effect controls panel here. And the first one is most important because here's where you select the preset and you can see the preset colors when you open this arrow here. So 15 presets are made for you and you can uh, select it from here when you have uh, found your, your color combination. Yeah, just try out different ones and you can see it updating in the final scene. And then you also have this custom colors option and where to change the custom colors is this one here. Open the arrow. Now you can change it to, let's say, yellow and, and blue. Like this, okay. And there's one more um, 
control you can change and this is blend with original and this means that uh, if you take this number up it gives back uh, the uh, original color or the effect is uh, weaker the duotone effect so 100 new effect at zero maximum and you can see always the colors you have chosen here under active colors and we'll set this one to preset 1 so let's go back then to scene 3 and actually I won't use the duotone effect for this let's delete it from here I like this look so this stays and uh, instead I'll show you this duotone on another scene in scene 1 final and let's close this view I will drag this duotone effect here to be the top layer. Let's turn on again this Collapse Transformations button and there, there's the effect. So I want to combine this here with the uh, next one, the effects, uh, effects layer, effects composition. So I'll drag this also inside the timeline and uh, turn on this Collapse Transformations button and now when we go inside here you can see again is a different uh, guide image and uh, it won't affect your final result and uh, select the first layer and on effect controls panel here are the options so first is blurriness and this means uh, edge blurriness around the edges it gives this dreamlike uh, look or finish to your scene so we'll take this, uh, not to minus, but zero. A flare opacity is the second one. So this is what it changes. And the flare is animated. Uh, then there's light leaks. I'll take this down to zero. Light leaks uh, is a really strong effect, so uh, watch out when you use it. Uh, just take a look at how it animates. Uh, and then dust opacity, dust and particles are just a bit different. They add this um, tiny white dust particles on the screen. Uh, then there is, um, let's take the light leaks to 50 perhaps, yeah. Then there's texture and texture is um, something you can see here again more in the edges and this gives like a grunge, uh, grunge look or maybe a bit like um, dirty lens look to your scene so also a really fast way to add some texture and the luminance is uh, more like a contrast so you can see how it affects the final final look okay we'll leave it like that and now when I go back to this uh, scene 1 final, let's close this view, open the lock. And yeah, I think it looks better with effects, this one. Okay, and the next is uh, grain. This is uh, what the name says. When we zoom in you can see it really uh, adds a grainy look. And vignette is, well, Vignette is vignette, so you have some controls inside there. Mm, the opacity, size, feather, amount and color. So, uh, we can keep these two for this scene. And then I want to show you one more thing with these. Mm, usually, uh, yeah, mainly you would uh, add these to your final scene but you can use them in any placeholder or uh, pre-comps also of course so if you just want to give this duotone look to part of your scene then you can do it and I'll show you with one example I already did I made it earlier so uh, we have this scene here and what I did here uh, was, okay, so looking at this I would say that it doesn't look so great 
yet because it doesn't have any textures. I haven't put um, front or back texture to the scene. It's just the double exposure mm, mm, scene and some uh, light streaks uh, on top of it. So it would benefit uh, from some color grade or some effects. And I added here a duotone effect, which gives it uh, I think it looks it better already. And then I also used a color looks, um, basically a dynamic look on high value over the duotone to give more contrast. But then, um, this looks nice, but then I tried out a different uh, approach and let's uh, turn off the duotone from here. And instead, I wanted to use this only for the fill um, let's go to the fill placeholder and you can see here the, is this uh, originally looking like this video clip this video clip is from uh, our video library it's from our video library and you can download it uh, from there also of course so this is how it looks like and I added a curves effect to give more contrast and dramatic look. And then I uh, drag dropped this duotone effect on top of it. So it just uh, gave this look to the fill layer. And now when we go back to here, you can see this look is different. Still nice. I, th I like this one better, I think. So let's make a photo and then I turn off this. And then I will turn back on this one. Now we can compare. Uh, yeah. So these are different. Yes, they are. So let's look at how it uh, how it looks when we run preview. So I also did a 3D portrait effect for this photo. And because there's some movement in the video clip, I think it looks quite nice. No textures, just color looks. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching.